Hello. It's been an amazing response that we've been getting from our followers. We hope that this next fish species in our series will be enjoyable for you. Rasbora is one of the smallest bait fish and is a native to freshwater habitats. There are dozens of species of Seluang in the genus Rasbora, and they can live for about three to six years. They also have small body sizes between five and 17 centimeters. It is a native species in Southeast Asia, as well as in Southeast China, and they live in water that is around the pH level of seven. It can be found in many rivers, especially mountain rivers and clear water jungle rivers. Years ago, nobody really cared about the rasbora except for fly fishermen. But it's a different case today, since the ultralight fishing has since stepped up, causing stream fishing to become the game. With the existence of more small baits in the market, it has also become their target too. The best time to hunt rasbora is any time really from morning until the evening. They're always active in groups and tend to attack normally in packs. Any baits like the small spoons from 1 to 2.5 centimeters will work well. The smaller the bait, the better the results that you're going to get since it'll increase your strike rate. Brudu Worms by Kanicha Nix is one of the best since it resembles a small shrimp and it is luminous, attracting all of your fishing needs. But do not be surprised when Rasbora chases a bigger spoon like a sea lao because that can attract them too. Although they are small fish, they can also be pretty fierce. Now again, the ultralight setup is probably your best option here. You really want to choose the best setup in order to enjoy your fishing experience. Go as small as possible, right from the fishing setup, all the way to the choices of your baits. You need to be aware that although they're fierce, they do get spooked easily. So get your distance right when casting your bait. Usually, once you've caught one in the pack, the rest will hardly try to bite your baits. But if you control your movements and avoid them getting spooked right away, then you may be able to catch more from the same pack. Rasbora loves swimming near fast flowing, open, clear, and shallow waters. So that is the first spot that you should cast. If you're using spoons, cast it and retrieve it fast. Avoid pausing. It's a much different approach for worms like brudu. The fish will attack on both fast retrieve and slow jerk. Sometimes you can simply drop it on the ground when they are chasing the bait. Rasbora will pick and run. Remember to use an ultralight setup since that's the only way you can cast small baits and feel the game. Now, small fish usually call for you to catch and release. Sure, enjoy the game, use landing nets and proper hooks, but release it safely. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed watching. Until next video, cheers.